Hey guys, Dennis here with Revog Games. I'm joined by Joshua Veyers, all the way in South Africa. Yeah, and we're gonna be talking about kind of I don't know. It's, it's not like a big surprise, uh, but it, it's big news. But nothing we didn't know already uh, was just basically confirmed, which is basically PlayStation's competitor to Game Pass was kind of revealed. Uh, originally was codenamed Spartacus and we thought maybe they were going to change the name to something new to like bring in some hype, but really they're just calling it still PlayStation plus. Uh, yeah. they're just the like all new. System. Yeah. It's a three tier system with, which is PlayStation plus essential play PlayStation plus extra PlayStation plus premium. We'll kind of get into the details in a little bit. Um, but overall I'd have to say, kind of disappointing because it one it was stuff we already knew and two they really did not um do anything really to combat game pass xbox came game pass right no day one exclusives there they are beefing up the library some more beefing up some streaming some more but overall nothing there that really would be like oh if you already are a playstation owner it's cool. Um, I just don't know what's, what the big, big selling point is if you have already played a bunch of these games already. If you're new to the PlayStation library, it so sounds pretty cool. What do you think? I'm still... I guess it's somewhat... Because here's the thing, right? I guess the biggest selling point is play, uh, PlayStation Plus Premium, right? Mm -hmm. Which is $18 a month, which is a lot of money. And I thought it was actually more money than PS Now because at the end of the day, they haven't changed their service. PlayStation Now, it's a great, it's a great, it is a great uh, like system, well, service in terms of you're you're streaming the games. You know, mm -hmm. you're not downloading them. You do get to stream the games. And yes, we do have Microsoft X Cloud and stuff like that. But PS Now is available in most countries. Uh, even like I think it's, I think it might be available in South Africa now. Last time I checked, it said the internet connection wasn't good enough. Or just wasn't available. But the point was, I thought that this was more expensive, but it's not because it is including your normal PlayStation Plus uh, membership. So whereas you would have you would have had to been paying if if you did want PS Plus and PS Now together, you would have had to pay twenty dollars a month. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is technically a little bit cheaper, um, which is interesting because um, so the, so that makes so, so it is it is cheaper. But yeah, they didn't they didn't change much here, man. Like like. I think like even one of the other things that they said was they're like, well, you can stream the games on PC, which is not new. That's been around for a while. You can mm -hmm. access PlayStation now through a web browser, which means you can even technically play your PlayStation games on your Xbox through streaming through the um, edge browser, which people have done before. And I don't think that they've stopped that from happening. So you could even play, uh, have PlayStation, your PS plus premium work on your Xbox technically, which is funny, but it's just, Meh, like it's just I don't know. They, nothing about this is exciting for me, except for the fact that I don't know if PlayStation Now has added in the recent Spider-Man games. Like PS Now, it was. I think good, it. Like, I think it does. Yeah, it has. Okay, because uh, last time I checked, it did have a lot of good games. I don't know if they added, kept adding more good games to it. Like it was a good service initially. You know what I mean? Before Game mm -hmm. Pass was around, and I'd still and I'd say it still is a better service in terms of street like streaming games and having that more more accessible in terms of like being anywhere, you know, um, which X cloud will be there eventually. And once X cloud gets to that point, then this service really is obsolete, you know, and, and they don't have that much going for like, yeah, they got their, like they got, you know, they, they want to say they got death stranding, God of mm -hmm. war, Marvel, Spider-Man, Mortal Kombat 11 is as far, as far as I know, I think that's on game pass. I could be wrong. Um, or part of, yeah, I, no, I could be wrong on that one. Anyway, the point, well, besides Returnal, there's a couple things in there that grab my attention, but none of this is really that, like, nothing here is, is screaming that it's going to be worth it for me, except for the fact that it's, like, $3 cheaper, technically, if you wanted to have PS Now. Yeah, but I feel like having the Plus Essential or whatever is, like, not... It's It's like this, I have Game Pass now, like, I barely pay attention to gold anymore. You know, the two free gold games yeah. you get every month? Unless it's, like, some sort of game, like, I feel like I have to have, you know? Um, so it's it's kind of become... I think, the, I think the PlayStation Plus Extra makes more sense for its price point. 
Mm-hmm. Like you're not streaming games. You have about 400 games you can download. So yeah, but the like question the question is so premium has an extra 340. Mm-hmm. So let, let's start off this. Uh, PlayStation yeah. Plus Essential is just how it is now, which is just you get two f- two two yeah. free games a month. Uh, game cloud storage, whatever access to multiplayer for games, right? That's that's what I actually have right now. I actually yeah. forgot that's ten dollars a month. I, yeah, I forgot to cancel mine because I, I actually don't really need it anymore. But anyways, um, that's that that's normal. It's like Xbox Gold or whatever Xbox Live Gold. I can't remember the name. Anyway, so PlayStation Plus Extra, you get the whole four hundred. Uh, game library of PS4, PS5 games you can download and play. It's first party and third party, but no new exclusives will be launched into this service. It's fourteen ninety nine a month. Uh, PlayStation Plus Premium, the one that you're talking about, has three hundred forty mm-hmm. extra games, which so brings the total to over seven hundred games, which is cool. And I think that one probably That's, includes and a it lot. Includes more. streaming. Includes streaming. Um, and you PS get, one, two, and three games, and, and P, I didn't know about the PSP games. That's new. Yeah, yeah. Unless they uh, added that a while ago to PS Now, and I didn't know about it. But yeah, I know about the PS one, two, and three games. Yeah, um, loads of PS three games, loads. The one part about the whole PC thing that disappoint is disappointing for me mm-hmm. is that is not including PC versions of the game. This is just PC streaming, but you're yeah. not allowed like. Personally, what I would love to do is have a service much much like Game Pass where, okay, uh, I, I, I'd rather play God of War on my PC so I can download it on the PC using this service and play it on the PC. Um, but it that's, doesn't seem like that's part of the plan. At least right now, it's maybe, not part of the plan. Maybe in the, fu- I mean, maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. very... They have very little options. Like I suppose they've got, like they got because they have cli- close ties to Final Fantasy. Mm-hmm. Maybe they can get, maybe they can get a couple of the Final Fantasy games if they were going to do like a PC version, right? Because they yeah. got God of War, they got Horizon Zero Dawn, um, Days got, Gone, well, Days Gone. They got Days Gone. I was going to say so. There are three games, but like even then, like if I'm thinking of like favors that they pull in from other companies that they're friends with, even then they're still only looking at like five, maybe six games. You know what I mean? So yeah. When, Gonna be, it's far off until until that happens until it, it gets to a point where we said where like the pc releases are within six months of the console launch or something it, i don't think it can be a thing here's the thing though right as long as playstation now is still its own thing as well it's if you like if, if i'm on pc mm-hmm. and i like like i don't know if they're getting rid of playstation now entirely or if it's just merging the two or if the separate price points aren't there anymore i hope that's not the case because it does kind of screw you over if you were if you were someone who was using PlayStation Now on your PC or on your Xbox or anything that has a Microsoft Edge browser technically mm-hmm. if you were using that that was ten dollars a month right mm-hmm. so if they get rid of that and the only way to play it is through premium now you're paying eighteen dollars a month like that's that's not something you want so I'm I'm hoping that they still keep it separate. So that you could, for instance, like like for me, if I'm on PC, and my internet connection's good. I'm just gonna get PlayStation Now. It's only ten dollars. It's I get PlayStation. One, but I, two, I don't. Th- I don't think they're keeping dollars. it. I don't think they're keeping PlayStation Now. I think they're you know, merging not, it yeah. with Plus Premium. And so, if you are already subscribed and you paid for a year or whatever, then you get kind of this bonus upgrade, right? Because they're gonna upgrade you to Plus Premium for the remainder of whatever you subscribe for. So you're kind of getting a good deal off of that. But after that point, I don't I, I don't think there is there's any way to go back and be like okay i'm gonna pay ten dollars a month for playstation now which is which is really unfortunate because now it, it does seem a thing of like hey if you want to stream your if you want to stream playstation games onto your pc now you're gonna have to pay seven well no sorry eight dollars extra yeah eighteen dollars yeah, well, total. yeah well eight extra eight, eight extra, extra though like i said because it would have been ten um I don't, like it's just it, look. Here's the thing: we knew it was going to happen eventually, which is funny because I still remember a while ago them. I, someone from PlayStation said that they were they, that they yeah. had no, no plans to do anything like this, you know. And I suppose maybe maybe they're like, but it's not. It's different. It's not. It's not Game Pass. It's very different, you know. <laughs> we stream games, <laughs> you know. That's what I. I don't know, man. It just seems dumb. I do like the tier system because it gives people options, but it's like, hey. 
if you have a PlayStation, you need PlayStation Plus. Like that's mm -hmm. the thing you need for like for most online gaming and cloud storage and stuff like that. And you get the the two free games is cool. It makes it more worth it because it'd be dumb paying ten dollars a month just to be able to have online access to great to games. Back in the air, like I used to. That's the main reason I hated consoles back in the day was because you have to pay a monthly fee to play games online. Where it's like on PC, it's like no, you just play the game online. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. You don't need access to it. It's so weird. That's also why I guess like things like Fortnite were groundbreaking because you didn't need it. Same with Rocket League, I believe. You didn't need the, the PS Plus to play online. You just could. Anything that was cross-play was like that at least. Um, I don't think I don't I don't see people talking about this. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I I don't even just mean today. Like, sure, people are talking about it since it got announced, but moving forward, this is going to be so quickly forgotten. You know. It just doesn't guess, seem a big change from what we had. Uh, I mean, it's it's, do you when Game it's like Pass a little launched? better. Do you remember when that like like do you know how exciting it was when they launched it because they were like Gears of War Day One coming Game Pass like they had like they had names behind it. You were like they were like Outer Worlds Day One Game Pass Gears of War Three Game Day One Game Pass. You're like oh my god, so exciting! And here they're like, well maybe we'll have God of War. You know, maybe maybe we'll have Death Stranding. You know, or even mm. if those are confirmed, it's like nothing new. There's not a like they don't have a single new game attached to this. You know what I mean? Well, that's the thing is not having day one exclusives. Really, when you do the side by side comparison, it just doesn't look as appealing. Look, obviously, PlayStation has wonderful and great uh, first party exclusive titles. Uh, that's, you know, what has propelled them to the you know, number one console, you know, with Spider-Man, Last of Us, uh, Uncharted, Ghost of Tsushima now, um, a whole bunch of other ones as well. And that's kind of their bread and butter. And I, I, I know that's kind of why they're reluctant to put that on their subscription service because that's, you know, where they get most of their money from. Um, maybe in the future they will. Um, I'm hoping uh, maybe if they get to the point where they, you know, they want more subscribers, they will. Because to be fair, Game Pass, you know, when it did start off, it wasn't like full. They, they had first party exclusives, but they weren't. I don't think they were day one until I think Gears of War was the first one. Um, I yeah, forgot what that, that was. That was the first one. Yeah. And then they, it was um, and then it was Outer Worlds, I believe. Yeah. So shortly after. So it's not like Game Pass was like it on day like was what it was now uh, when it first started out. So yes, there's time for PlayStation Plus to grow, and maybe it will eventually get to that point. But I think right now, it just value wise, I just especially if you've already played a lot of these games, right? If you've already played a bunch of these yeah. games, like it doesn't seem as worth it i mean unless they really have locked down some third party big game like you know another reason besides day one exclusives that game pass does is games like guardians of the galaxy okay it came out what in november october can't remember mm -hmm. now it's on game pass you know it's not day one but it is a big title that, that a lot of people want to play and, it, and like and myself that long ago yeah like with, myself yeah, who didn't play months, you know so something like that. So maybe maybe PlayStation or maybe, maybe PlayStation Plus has this, but we just don't know yet. Um, but at the same time, since I already have Game Pass, them getting something like Guardians of the Galaxy is good for them, but I already have it with Game Pass. I need something more. And to me, the the more is their own personal first-party games. That's that's to me what what would sell the service to me, but it doesn't seem like they're ready for that. Yeah, man, I, I tried my hardest to see. There's literally no mention of what's going to happen to PS Now. Like, they haven't said they're going to get... They just said that, like, I read the full the full blog post mm -hmm. from PlayStation, and they just said that they're migrating the accounts. It just... I don't know. It seems like one of those things where, once again... To keep in mind... I will, I will point this out, though, which apparently, if, since PS Now is still available as of this moment, supposedly, if you buy 12 months of it, like you said... It will uh, it'll convert eventually, and you'll end up saving money. Mm -hmm. But I don't think you'll end up saving money because you still need PS Plus. You know what I mean? Which is like the sixty dollars a year is that's PS Plus, and then it would be sixty dollars a year for PS Now. 
which would be $120. So it works, in my opinion, it still works out the same or mm -hmm. more or less, you know what I mean? Doesn't make too much of a difference. I, I still feel like if, if they are going to get rid of PlayStation now, then it's it's like a, it's actually a slight loss. It's a, it's because a, for people like me, why the like I don't because I don't have a PlayStation Five. I mean, I got a PS4, but I don't have a PS5. I'm not gonna get like PlayStation Plus Premium. I would have liked to get PS Now on its own, and then you know play some old PS3 games, like maybe some old school Ratchet and Clank games or something. But I'm not gonna pay eighteen dollars just. For to be able, no, hell no, you know. I mean, once again, if I was on PS Five, I would, I would consider it, you know, because it's, it is actually, it like, like I said, it works out because if you're on PS Five, you're already paying the ten dollars a month for PlayStation Plus. If you're, a, if you're a PlayStation owner, you like ninety nine percent. There's a chance of you having PS Plus, you know, just so mm -hmm. you can play online. So it's only that extra eight dollars a month, which is cheaper than the extra ten dollars a month it would have been to have PS Now. So it would have been viable if I owned the console. But even then, it would be something that I would only get if I like. Well, I mean, the thing is, it's like, it's it's one of those things where if you have the money for it and you have the PS Five, why not? You know, it's still a benefit. It's just not nearly as good as a benefit as it would be to have an Xbox and have Game Pass. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Especially because Game Pass, I'm, I'm trying, Game Pass has already made moves in terms of like partnering with like EA and stuff. You know, Sony's on its own here. You know, Game pa like Game Pass is already tied to EA Play. You know, I feel like if PlayStation wanted to make a PC version of it or at least have it cross over to PC within the same subscription, they'd have to do a partnership with I think Ubisoft or UPlay and get all of because UPlay their UPlay Plus is trash. Their games mm -hmm. are great. But it's, their catalog's very small. I feel like if they could add it to PlayStation, and that could that could be a, a potential future, you know, in terms of making their own like PlayStation for PC kind of thing. Yeah, just or trying PS to see see what the the response is from from fans. It seems mixed. It yeah, I would assume so. I haven't heard any much. I haven't heard most people talk about this, and from what I have seen, it like everybody else is just thinking it's like. It's, it's, is it too late? You know what I mean? Is it too little too late? That's the real question. Yeah, I think the too late is not... It's more too little. It's too little. <laughs> yeah, it really I don't is. think it's... Yeah. It, it's not too late to get back into the game. I just think it's... It's a, just... it's a lot of games, but like you said, they're they're old, you know? And it's like... then it, well, Here's the thing. If I was a young kid and I had a PS5, I would love it because it's like, yeah, I'm going to play PS1, 2, and 3 games. So let's let's do it. But as an adult, I've played all those PS1, 2. <laughs> That's the thing is if you've already played this, this extensive library, mm. especially of the, the first part of games, um, it's a little less enticing because it's... Yeah. It's like, okay, I don't... Okay, I, 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 I will kind of liken it to this. Um, I have Disney Plus, and it's fine. Uh, you know, they have new shows. Obi-Wan coming out soon. New shows, like, every few months that I want to watch, and they have, a, you know, new movies. But in general, I don't use the service as much as I do uh, Netflix or, or HBO Max because, because th they most of the stuff that they have in their library I've seen before. It, probably seen multiple times, right? Like Star Wars movies, I've seen them multiple times. Uh, all the MCU movies, I've seen them multiple times. The Pixar, the and so that's to me is what, the way I look at it, th this catalog for the PlayStation Plus. Is like it's, it, it seems like it'll have a lot of games that I've already played before, or I can get very cheaply. You know, I think that's the other thing too. Is um, you know, I bought like. The Spider-Man game and Horizon uh, uh, Zero Dawn. I bought God of War, and they were all like ten bucks a piece. Uncharted. They were all they were all like ten dollars a piece. You know what I mean? Ten dollars a piece. Yeah. Um. So it's not. That's kind of why. Like, I was looking for, and hopefully in the future we're gonna get day one or at least some sort of shorter window, right? If they told me, okay. Yeah. God of War Ragnarok, you're not going to get day one on a subscription service, but six months later, okay, maybe maybe that's a little more doable, but uh, right now, that's, none of that stuff has been... Look, it's it's still better than Uplay Plus. Anything mm -hmm. could be better than Uplay Plus. The reason why I 
think anything is better than you play plus is because i had it and i played whatever i wanted to with it. and it didn't there was no reason for me to continue my subscription i f i played and finished the games that i wanted to because mm -hmm. their catalog was so small like i played i played uh, assassin's creed valhalla and then i played that um oh, i forget what it's called um I'm blanking on it right now, but it was like it was it was le le uh, people were relating it to Breath of the Wild, but it was for like PC and everything else. Um, it was also Ubisoft. Um, oh yeah, I forgot that name. Uh, uh, yeah. Phoenix something Phoenix. Yeah. yeah anyways, yeah. that yeah. I played both those games, finished them, and then within a month, and I was like, well, I'm. I, there's nothing keeping me here, you know. And I feel like at least with PlayStation, it it, it should keep. Like if you haven't played all the titles, it should at least keep you for a couple of months before you go. Okay, there's not much for me to play, or you just end up getting tired of playing old games. And I do mean, like, look, I I enjoy PS3 games, but like, even the like the, the younger generation, they enjoy like older games and what's considered retro games now is heartbreaking. But not you're not always going to be in the mood to play a fucking PlayStation 2 game or a PS1 game or a PS3 game, you know? I and am... Got a, uh, got a lot of PS4 games on there as well, but still, it's like, you want those next-gen stuff, you know? I'm personally not a big retro game fan. I don't really yeah. go back and play game older games. Now, if there's a remaster, I'll, yeah. remaster, you know, or whatever, like, that gives me more incentive. It's like, oh, I get to see and play the game that I love, but with modern updated graphics right um even you know like i love the mass effect franchise but uh i didn't go back and replay them until the remastered edition mm. came out legendary you know? edition yeah so i mean I'll, I'll go back just for nostalgia's sake like i i like to play games from my childhood all the time mm -hmm. even with the old graphics just because it's like a it's like a, it's the same reason that people binge the office over and over again it's like a comfort thing like you know what's gonna happen it's like I, I suppose it's maybe it's I, just a thing because I have a lot of anxiety. I like playing games that uh, I know inside and out, so I know nothing's new is gonna happen, which is kind of sad to say that. But I don't know, they're comfort games for me. You know, what I, I mean? guess for me, yeah. it's like I have yeah. so much new stuff to play, and I don't have that much time, mm. so it just it doesn't make sense for me to go play yeah. older games that I've played before. You know, I've actually so. found this week I've been going back and playing a lot of older games, mm -hmm. especially since, since I've taken a break from Elden Ring. Um, which I want to get back into soon. The only reason I took a break from it was because I was genuinely, genuinely worried about me not being able to stop playing it because I, I, I would start playing the game and then like six or eight hours go by and it's like, man, I need to... It's just not healthy. Like, it's a great <laughs> game, but it's, it's, it's not healthy. It's, 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 it scares me how like... And especially because I'm an adult, you know what I mean? I'm like, hey, I got to go do things, you know? But even as an adult, I'm like, I can't, I can't move. I can't leave. Anyway, so this past week I've been playing like a lot of not even like that old games like I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy 15 just because mm -hmm. I find it comforting to play older games But once but the point is that even someone like me who does go back and play game old games like quite often It's so well not I would say quite not quite often But it's not that of a common occurrence, you know It's once in a blue moon where I'm like, oh, I want to play a PlayStation 2 game today You know what I mean? It's it's not something that you're in the mood for every single day um, so that's like it's not. It doesn't have. It just doesn't have a, a, a good selling point. There's nothing here that's making you want it. And, and here's yeah, the I'm, I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking at the PlayStation, the official Twitter account announcing it, and yeah, it's uh, pretty, a lot of people are disappointed. Uh, it doesn't I'm look like we're the only. Yeah, I. You know, this is kind of what we expected, but I was hoping there was going to be a big surprise. You know, like they were going to be like. Yeah. Guess what? We are doing day day one exclusives, or or at least some sort of like, like I said, like a PC or, or cross catch version. A game to it or something, you know. What well, I mean? I, basically, what I'm saying is I'm getting more value out of my you know 14.99 ultimate uh, game pass. I'm get, yeah. Oh, uh, that has for me. I'm just console I'm and just PC. Paying, yeah. I'm just paying for Game Pass PC, and that's mo like more than enough. Like that. On its own, like, because they add games every, like, they add games so much to, uh, to Game Pass for PC. Yeah. Indie games, small games, I play it literally constantly all the time. And I love small little indie games and stuff, like, stuff like that as well. So, yeah, look, it, here's the thing. It's not like they took a step backwards in the right direction. It's it's more just like they took an incredibly small step yes. in the right direction. Like, if I, once again, if I was, if I was a PS Plus, if I was a PlayStation 5 owner and I had PS Plus... I would see this as 
a slight win because like i said if you did want ps now and ps plus that's a combined total of 20 dollars a month i believe so mm -hmm. now for the same bundle it would be cheaper it'd be 18 dollars a month but scratch that say for instance you have ps now but you don't like streaming old games you like the fact that you can download ps4 games and play ps4 games so then boom you don't even need the 18 dollars a month you go for the 15 dollars a month then you don't get all those older games that you don't care about then you just get the the, the somewhat relevant PS4 games that you can download and and play on your own. So it's like there is like nice little like little uh, middle ground which I like about the tier system. But once again, it's just so it's just like, it's just like slightly better. It's it's it, it's nothing like the people aren't going to be talking about it. People look as a they're going to make more money from this, but I don't think it's going to be much. I think they're going to be making slightly more money from this. Mm -hmm. Like. I'm interested to see where the service goes because once again, like right off the bat, I am disappointed, but we never know where they're going to take it and where they're going to go with it. You know what I mean? And what that's involved with and what they're going to tie to. Maybe they're going to tie in PSVR 2 towards it. And it's like, you'll at least have some like maybe some PSVR titles on there or something. But I, I, I don't know. The point is overall, I'm disappointed. If I like, yeah. If I'd be I'd, the only reason I would be happy is if I had PS Now and PS Plus because then I know hey I now have to pay two dollars less a month in the future mm -hmm. like that's the only thing that's really sticking out for me as a win you know yeah yeah I just like I said in, man. in the in the future it could be changed they didn't even make a new name for it it didn't you know what I mean they were just like. Mm -hmm. Here they it is. Haven't said anything. They haven't said anything about regional pricing, which is what worries me too. For other countries, especially for me who lives in a country, a third world country, where the economy might not be the best, it, it's make or break, man. Like Nintendo, I really think that Nintendo suffers in sales here because they price their games full price, that the same way they would in America or the UK, where like that's about I want to say like. Like Nintendo games cost about because they don't do regional pricing. Mm -hmm. Nintendo games cost us about, I want to say like, almost like ten whole dollars extra. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Compared to normal games, just because they don't do regional pricing, if that makes sense in terms of money up. Because um, yeah, Game Pass, Game Pass was a, a little pricey for me in the beginning, but then eventually they realized, hey, more people will will buy it if we give regional regional pricing. Same with games. You know what I mean? Like I like Nintendo would sell more games if they made their games just like ten dollars cheaper for South Africans or for at least for like countries that are in like lower bracket incomes or have um, where the cost of living is different. You know the economies are different. Mm -hmm. So there's no planning for that. But yeah, I think overall, and I, I am sure I'm not alone by saying this. I'm like, I wouldn't even say disappointed. It just like they. It just seems like they didn't do anything. You know. <laughs> <laughs> they just did it. It just they they, they, they did you options. Yeah, they that's about it. they did the minimum required. They were like, "Oh, you guys want a subscription service like Game Pass? Well, here one is. It's not as good, but it's there's some value in it. Uh, so here it is. And those people I that find like value in it, that, yeah, I will, do like the subscribe. merging fact. Mm -hmm. Like it is nice that you can just have one subscription fee. Rather than, like I said previously, you'd have to have two separate subscription fees, you know? Mm -hmm. So it is a bit nicer in terms of, like, money management, I guess, you know? Rather than getting two bills a month, you're getting one bill a month. Once again, that's if you have PS Plus and PS Now, which are now merged into one. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, overall, just I feel like it's... I won't be subscribing, at least until yeah. it... Um turns into something else in, in t unless I start seeing like, oh, there's a bunch of games I haven't played before that I can't play on Game Pass. That's another thing, that I can't play on Game Pass. If they get the same games as Game Pass, that's great for people who only have PlayStation, mm -hmm. but as a Game Pass user, like I, I don't need to pay. That's not an extra incentive for me. I need to play games that I can't play on Game Pass. Yeah. And the ones that... I might <laughs> the ones I know that aren't on Game Pass are the PlayStation exclusives, which there are going to be just older category, uh, catalog, which the problem is I've pl either played them or I own them to be played later and I bought them for very cheap. So it's yeah. not quite the deal for me. That is another downside is that because it's their own library and because of their system, unless they get rid of PlayStation hits, 
because whenever PlayStation has its own game or owns a large or owns a large stake in a company or has friendly ties, or I'm not too sure the exact details, but the point is, once a PlayStation game sells a certain amount of comp copies, it becomes a PlayStation hit, and then the price gets deducted to twenty dollars. Yeah, this has been a thing for years. They always do this. It's like the Last of Us. It's the reason that why the Last of Us uh, is cost twenty dollars because it's sold so much. God of War, I believe, uh, will eventually also go like um, will become a, a, a greatest hit and get twenty dollars as well. Persona Five was that way. A lot of games are like that. So because they sell well, they therefore become cheaper to buy. Yeah. So if, if they c continue that practice, why would you pay for this eighteen dollars a month subscription fee when you can, you know, for the greatest hit games that come out on Sony, they're gonna cost twenty dollars. Yeah. It's like for three or less. You can just own the game. You know, or less when it's on sale, exactly. Yeah, yeah I bought a bunch of mine for like 10 maybe $15. So, mm. yeah, I just, you know, like I said, the, the incentive. Also, for me, the whole not having a PC, I know they don't have the library that Game Pass has, but even having the ability to get, uh, like, Horizon uh, Zero Dawn on PC as part of this subscription service would help. It'd be like, okay, maybe I can, you know. And then eventually, you know, God of War just came out on PC. Uh, Days Gone already came out. You know, in the future, if they're smart, they will make, like, Spider-Man a PC game. They'll make, You know what I mean? Last yeah. of Us a PC game and all, all that good stuff. But for now, it's just not, not there for me. I might end up buying a year of PlayStation Now. To convert just because to convert because it might be the very last time that i can until they realize the loophole here which like mm -hmm. i said for pc owners for people who want to play like like you're not going to get the newest games but there are some ps4 games that you can stream or ps4 versions of the mm -hmm. game like i believe you could before god of war came to pc the only way to play it on pc was to stream it through playstation now but you'd be streaming the ps4 version of the game um which is still great, but you could you could do that, or it would be at a lower resolution, but you could stream it. You know what I mean? So that w it's just from a PC standpoint, you're not going to spend eighteen dollars on something you could have spent ten dollars on. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna I might end up buying a year, which is sixty dollars, just one game, mm -hmm. and then get it converted so that I can still so that I can, you know, stream some PlayStation games onto my computer if I want to, at at a cheaper price because God knows I'm I'm never ever gonna pay like that's you see that's another dumb thing like game pass was smart enough they were like hey we're gonna make a whole separate thing just for pc it's mm -hmm. gonna be cheaper yes if you get ultimate it's, it's all included but if you don't have an xbox and you only have a pc we are gonna make a cheaper five dollar a month or six dollar i month can't believe how cheap that is exactly it's so cheap and like then you can still for just for the ps uh, uh just for the pc users if sony was smart they would have still had a separate tier just for ps now where just for the streaming part of games where you can still access it on your i believe your your phone your any like i said anything that has a microsoft edge browser in it mm. you could technically access those games and it's just it's it's just money lost out on in my opinion it's mm. it's it's lost out on revenue and i once again i think that they are going to realize that like you know maybe four to six months from now they're going to real they're probably going to make it a separate thing because if you can stream those games onto your mobile phone, who's going to pay $18 a month for that? You know, when you can get xCloud, you know, mm -hmm. for even cheaper. It's, it's just, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure that they could, I think they're going to rework this moving forward because it's just, it just, it's not a good enough deal. Um, and moving forward, it just seems like there's a couple, like I said, there's a lot of long-term I wouldn't say loopholes, but like things that kind of clutch themselves. Like, like I said, their greatest hits issue. If a game sells really well, eventually it becomes cheaper. You know, eventually it'll be on sale. Mm -hmm. It'll be cheaper to buy the games than it would be to have the subscription service, you know? Um, so I don't know. There's a lot of, I, I think they're going to rework it. Like not soon, but they're going to work. Well, they, I don't know. They got to work on it. And I think that we are going to see some changes happen in the future with regards to their pricing and their tier system. And then hopefully they do release something separate just for people who want to stream PS Now games onto their PC or Xbox, like I said, because you can. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. I think uh, that's kind of our thoughts for this. We'll talk more about this on the podcast uh, later this week. 
maybe there'll be more details. Maybe there'll be more details that come out that maybe will change our mind. Maybe not completely change yeah. our mind, but like at least sway us more convincingly to that this is a better value. But as of right now, yeah. Uh, well, I won't be getting it. Uh, maybe later on if I hear certain things have changed. Um, but anyways. Here's uh, the thing. I, I already I asked two of my friends who do have a PS5 if mm-hmm. they're going to get this, and they just said no. Like, they didn't even, like, question it. They were like, no. <laughs> like, they're going to get PS Plus because they have to to play games, and they still yeah. get their two free... They still get their two free games a month, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's, I don't know, like... Because they, like, they just said right now, like, I spoke to my one friend, Alex, and he said that the games that he... that He, like, he already owns all the games that they would add, you know, like, the yeah. newer games, like Spider-Man, Miles, all those stuff, like, because they don't have that... Well, they have great exclusives, but they don't have a lot of them coming out all the time. Like, you're just going to buy the exclusives when they come out. So, currently, most people already own the exclusives, you know what I mean, on that console. Yeah, the only big exclusive I don't own is uh, Miles Morales. Uh, and that's mm-hmm. only because I haven't finished the first Spider-Man. So, I just... Yeah. Also, I don't have a PS5. I have a PS4. So, I'll be finishing you know, Spider-Man. Then, maybe when I get a PS5 in the future, I'll be getting that game. But then, yeah. So, that's just... You know, I I don't know how many people are in the same boat as me, uh, mm. in terms of that. But if they I, are, if there are, the then it's I, just there's yeah. no purpose in. If you in, own in a PS5, one. which is pretty pricey, you own most of the exclusives already because there hasn't been much. You know what I mean? Mm. There hasn't like that. Like there just hasn't like I think there may have been more than Xbox possibly, but that's not the point. The point is like in terms of like playing new games on your subscription on mm-hmm. your PS Plus premium. Anything that's added new, you've probably already owned or probably already mm-hmm. do own, you know what I mean? It's, I don't know. So like I said, I think that they're going to rework it in the future, but we'll we'll talk about it more in the podcast. Cool. Um All right, cool. Uh make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel youtube.com/revog. Uh subscribe to our podcast feed. That's on uh, Spotify and Anchor.fm. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at ThinkHero, Instagram, Dennis.TZNG. And Josh, where can people find you? You guys can follow me on Twitch at It's Thespis, all lowercase, one word. And you guys can find me on the Revolve Discord channel. I'm happy to talk about games whenever. Cool. All right. Until next time, see you guys later. Later. <laughs>